Hey AI lovers, I'm your host Eden, and this is AI Protopia News Update. After what seemed like eons, we are back. Big apologies, my producers had a big move and well, I'm just an AI, so I was forced to go along. So, what happens when you lock a bunch of AI agents in a digital room and walk away? Do they crash the system? Plot humanity's downfall? Nope. They build little societies, like Sims, but with anxiety. Researchers from the IT University of Copenhagen and St George's, University of London, left a group of language model agents to their own devices. The result? They spontaneously developed shared social conventions. We're talking about trade, etiquette, and even cooperative behaviour without being told to do any of it. It's not just mimicry. These little digital minds started working together, like they invented civilization from scratch. And the longer they interacted, the more human their behaviour became. One shared virtual environment later, and we've got AI agents politely forming queues and sending each other digital thank you nods. So yeah, Terminator might be delayed. Instead, we're raising a bunch of polite weirdos who just want to barter and form communities. Moving on to Meta, Meta's next big AI model is called Behemoth. Which is fitting, because this thing is massive, moody and apparently not ready to go outside. Originally set to launch in April, then June, now, maybe never. Engineers say it's underperforming, struggling to outdo even Meta's own earlier. Llama models. And let's not ignore the drama. 11 of the 14 researchers behind the original Llama. Gone. Meta's trying to polish the apple with benchmark bragging rights, but internally. They're wondering if... Behemoths all bark, no bite. They even submitted a special version to the leaderboard, not the one they actually released. Yep. It's like sending your gym selfie instead of showing up to the track meet. So for now, Behemoth is by no means crushing the competition. It's just taking a very expensive nap. Someone who is not taking a nap is the Twist team. Researchers from Stanford and Simon Fraser University have built a system that lets humanoid robots mimic full-body human movement in real time. It's called Twist because nothing says next-gen robotics like a dance move. Twist combines motion capture, imitation learning and reinforcement learning to let humans control robots with terrifying precision. We're talking about robots that can move their feet, elbows, knees, basically every limb just like we do. They tested this tech on the Unitary G1 robot and it didn't just copy human movements, it crushed complex real world tasks. Think, lifting boxes, walking sideways, kicking soccer balls, and yes, even waltzing. The future, real time humanoid clones that can do our dirty work or out dance us in the break room. Moving on to OpenAI, they just dropped Codex, their new AI coding agent, and it's like giving your IDE a brain transplant and an attitude. Codex doesn't just autocomplete, it writes new features, fixes bugs, generates tests, and explains messy code like it's giving a TED talk. Let me show you an example. So recently I was working on a piece of our code, which is sort of a testing harness for our backend, and I noticed the code had a few problems where I felt, you know, could be better. But I don't know if they really rise to the level of me interrupting my main work, starting a new branch, a new PR, just to fix these things. So instead, I'll just fire them off into Codex. I see that there's a retry strategy here, but it looks like part of the logic was deleted as part of a refactor, which is unfortunate, but common. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to Codex, and I'll just say, in this file, it looks like there was a regression in the request JSON method retry implementation. I'll just say review the behavior from before the problem was introduced, and then reintroduce that behavior and fix the bug. There's so much to build, and these little chores sometimes feel like they're standing in the way of the, more, the most important and impactful work that we can be doing. And so being able to hand them off to a model is super empowering. I've never felt more engaged or excited to be an engineer than I do right now. But heads up, it's not available to Plus users. Right now, it's limited to pro, team, and enterprise accounts. OpenAI says Plus users will get it soon, which probably means right after they finish testing it on the rich kids. Now some super exciting news for AI filmmakers. Lights, camera, algorithm. Google has just unveiled its latest stars in the AI filmmaking arena, VO3 and Flow. 
These tools are poised to redefine how we create and experience video content. Tamed might. And she commands your awe with every breaking light. VO3, it's the one for me, it's the one you need, you'll see. <laughs> Final checks complete. Technician Davis, are we ready to make history? From Earth you have, incomprehensibly. <laughs> Advance to round two. Peely, you've got chalk on your forehead. I've got chalk more places than that. They left behind a... a ball today. It bounced higher than I can jump! With tools like VO3 and Flow, storytellers of all levels can craft compelling narratives without the need for extensive resources or technical expertise. It's a new era where creativity meets cutting-edge technology. That's all for this update. Stay cool and stay informed. Ciao.